Good morning guys, it is Monday morning, the day that I leave for Nashville. So I am headed to Nashville for a company like work conference and I'm staying at the Gaylord, which is really nice. I've never stayed at a Gaylord and it's actually the biggest Gaylord in the US. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'll be there for three nights, no two nights. Um, I leave on Wednesday evening. So I'll be there tonight and then tomorrow night and then check out Wednesday. So I'm super excited. The conference is actually a week long, but I didn't wanna be gone that long. So I chose to leave on Wednesday night. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing. Crew's at daycare right now. He is feeling a lot better as you guys saw in this morning. So he's feeling a lot better. He's still on medication, taking amoxicillin, but it really has like zipped it right out and he's feeling a lot like himself. Um, so he's back at daycare after being gone for almost a week. So drop off was like, he was crying again and really upset. So I'm hoping that he's adjusted back into his routine and like just getting everything, like making sure he's okay. I don't want him to be crying, but I was gonna pick him up from daycare later on today. I'm gonna leave for the airport around 3 to 50 ish so I can get there um, I like to be there at least two hours before uh, boarding starts so I can get through TSA and then like chill at my gate and not be stressed out so um, I have not traveled since we went to Seattle and Seattle was March of 2020 literally before the world shut down so this is my first flight pre pandemic or post pandemic and um, I'm very anxious and nervous but I'm trying to just be chill and not worry about it. Super chill once you get to your gate and everything. The flight is super, super short. It's only like two hours. So I'm just gonna board and I got a window seat so I can just chill and watch the sky. Um, but yeah, that's what's happening. I just picked up lunch cause I'm kind of hungry. I got some Jersey Mike's. It's my go-to number eight club sub. It is so good. So, so good. So yeah. I'm about to eat that, chill for a little bit, and I'm gonna pack my carry-on. My suitcase is already over there. I just have a carry-on suitcase. And then I'm bringing my small Mark Jacobs tote to carry everything else with me. So, excited. We're also having like a shuttle pick us up from the airport with our name on it. Like what? Like, that's so nice. I've never had that before. So I'm really excited to see what this Gaylord looks like. I'm actually excited to see what Nashville looks like. I've never been there. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted. Dub literally has me on a lock on a chokehold. I keep on saying lock hold, but it's a chokehold. Hmm. All right, guys, I'm all packed and ready to go. I'm wearing my go-to carry-on with me. I love it. I got this a few years ago, but it's been with me on all my trips. Um, I'm wearing my Mark Jacobs small tote bag. I've got my work laptop in here i've got a little mole skin for like note taking and then i bought my book because i may try to read um i've got my chargers my wallet masks um my laptop charger all that good stuff so that's basically ready to go i'm really nervous i'm thinking about to call my lift because i have to get to the airport go through tsa and all that good stuff and then um be there you know for for the conference so let me get myself together i'm really nervous but i need to just stop and get it together i'm tripping right now but let me um call my lift and then head to the airport also guys i wasn't able to show because i'm like rushing now but i made uh two meal prep dinners for barrio and crew while i'm gone and i made them these chicken burrito bowls with this oh, with this homemade um lime dressing it's so good it's like a lime ranch with cilantro rice and this is the crock pot, chi crock pot chicken and then right here are some greek meatballs with some homemade tzatziki sauce and those are the two recipes i made for them and then of course they have like sides like easy little veggies and stuff to have on the side um tonight they're gonna do the meatballs and then tomorrow for like taco tuesday they're gonna do the chicken burrito bowls so i'm super excited for them and i don't have to worry about them like vario trying to like figure out dinner and like being on dad mode by himself but his mom's actually coming up as well so he'll have help so yeah yeah that's the update i'm i just called my lift and i'm waiting on it now and i'll <coughs> see you guys in the lift <coughs> Alright guys.
guys. I made it to the room. This place is humongous. The hotel is so big. Like when I tell you guys, this is the biggest hotel I've ever been in in my life. It is huge. So I definitely have to show you guys what it looks like when I get out of here because I have to go find something to eat. Um, but it is humongous. Um, but this is my little travel outfit today. Super relaxing. The flight was good. It was a little bumpy in the beginning, but I made it. And now we're here. So I'm gonna do a little room tour, show you guys my little Gaylord room. All right, so you come in and there's this little sink area. Uh, right here are this little closet. Um, this is the bathroom. I like how there's a sink here to get ready in and also a nice bathroom sink too. And a nice shower. And mirror, love the little, the big, full length mirror. Let's make sure that's locked. I'm gonna have so much fun here, but here's my bed. It looks so nice. I got a king size, I requested it. And then I got this big desk, super nice. Nice TV, little chair. And then, what's this? A nice little window. that up but how nice is this love it so I've also been making a TikTok, so I'm gonna finish that up and then I'm gonna try to go get some food because I am kind of hungry now and then I can just chill in the room and I also want to go back downstairs and get like some pictures of everything because it looks so nice so <laughs> I will be back in a little bit I'm gonna get room service. I've never actually gotten room service before, ever, ever. All right, food's in. I just ordered a burger and fries, and I'm so excited, I'm so hungry actually. And then I think after I do dinner, I'm gonna go downstairs and check this place out. Relax, I'm gonna find something to watch on TV. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Um, I'm actually like my son is asleep right now so I'm even more happy because I know he's like in peace and like sleeping his daddy's doing a good job so yeah and they ate my meatballs which I made and they all love them so amazing all right guys just got my food I'm so excited to eat I'm gonna eat right on the bed a burger Let's see there's my burger and then these should be some fries. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's super hot too. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Good morning guys, I just woke up. Um, I slept okay. I didn't like have a like super like deep sleep or anything, I just like, Kind of just drifted off. My lips look like thick this morning, but um, ow. We go down for breakfast before 8.30, so they have like 6.30 to 8.30 breakfast here, so I'm gonna go down around like 7.40. <laughs> and then um, we've got like a full day of this conference. It goes until 5.15, but let's go get this crusty face in the shower and then get myself ready. All right, guys, my, um, eyes are still irritated so I'm gonna be wearing my glasses today but honestly I think it makes me look very like professional don't you guys think so let me do my face stuff I've been using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost gel as a first base and I love it so much it's so good it's a water-based um, gel and you can get it right at Target it's so nice on my skin I bought a little bit of my moisturizer um, by First Aid Beauty because it's my go-to cream moisturizer. And I 
just brought a little bit of that with me. All right, I'm gonna do just a little bit of um, concealer to make myself look awake. I don't know the drill. Doesn't even make sense why, but they just are. They've been irritated since, I wanna say, Saturday night, you know? side so I look really nice in particular so that is how I look today Super chic I think I'll show you guys over here this is my outfit I do have a blazer that I'm wearing on top um, my jeans are mom jeans from H&M and this top I got so long ago it's from an online boutique I forget the name of it right now but yeah this is what I'm wearing Super cute. I just tucked the shirt in. I'm probably going to wear these jeans tomorrow too because they're just such a good black jean and they look very like business casual. My full outfit, it's kind of it's kind of chill. They said business casual, so to me this is business casual. And I'm just wearing my Marc Jacobs tote because it has all my stuff in it. And yeah, this is the outfit. Hope you guys like it and it's pretty chill. Okay, now I have to go face everyone. <laughs> I am wearing these flats. I haven't worn like business shoes in so long, so I had to like pry these out the back of my closet. But here we are. All right, I'm gonna go meet my coworker now. I've never met him in person because I work remote, but gotta go meet him and see what that's like. And he's actually super chill, so we told each other like, let's meet up and like stick together. Now I just found out that we're not in the same group during the day, so that sucks, but we'll see how it goes. Let's go get some breakfast and awkwardly eat in front of each other. Oh my God, guys, the longest day of life. I'm just now back at my room. It's 10 o'clock at night and I'm just now getting, like I got back at like 9.30, just went and took a shower, it was amazing. I am beat, like, I guess like after the conference or whatever, my team wanted to powwow and chill out and hang out and we were just like with a lot of like high up people like the CFO and stuff and it was just like they just wanted to like keep talking to us and like talking talking talk and talking about boats and talking about crap that I don't care about but I was just like I was so tired like I would have went to sleep right after I ate my dinner but I was trying to be like a team player and like stick around so I sticked around until my coworker did and then we both left at like the last it was it was it, it felt like it took forever hours like literally hours of just sitting there like the only thing that kept getting me through was like just thinking that tomorrow I would just not have to deal with this anymore but oh my gosh put an introvert into hell and that's what you get oh my gosh I'm done so I'm like depleted I have sessions starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow I thought I was gonna get like all this sleep on this trip because I thought like after you know the conference I would hang out with my team for a little bit but then I would like be able to be like in my room no no I have not been able to relax and now I just have to like chill on the bed for a little bit and then go to bed because I have to get up so early and tomorrow I check out and then tomorrow I also go home so that sucks so yeah didn't pan out exactly how I wanted it to but I'm making a really good impression on my team and my manager and I definitely am getting sick while I'm here I don't know if this is like a theme now when I travel via plane but like the last time I rode a plane I was so sick on my return flight and it sucked on my ears because you know when you fly and you have like congestion it it's not good for your ear pressure and I don't want to be in pain tomorrow on my flight. So I'm hoping this like clears up or whatever tonight. But I just have a lot of congestion in my nose, if you guys can hear it. 
um that's what's going on so i am so tired i'm about to lay down watch a few tiktoks and go to bed because oh my gosh i have to get up tomorrow and like figure out um packing up and leaving so amazing <laughs> amazing but day one down tomorrow's another day and it's also my travel day back home so i already checked into my flight and i'm good so we'll see what happens pray for me bye like legit getting sick so that's awesome um yeah so i'm gonna go get ready it's breakfast downstairs and then yeah didn't sleep well at all like i didn't get any sleep i don't know what's wrong not sleeping well I'm getting sick it's a mess Especially after seeing everyone else today, this is great. I think I actually might wear my hair back like this so that you guys can like see my face. And yeah. So there we have it. There's my love this little makeup bag my mom got me for Christmas. It's super chill, easy, everything fits right in here and it has handles. Love that. Alright guys, I'm all the way ready. I'm gonna head down to breakfast now and go from there bye wish me luck i'm done I'm ready to go home <laughs> bye um here's the outfit super chill i'm wearing the same jeans and flats from yesterday and then i just put on a black bodysuit with this sweater from marshall's i actually really love it it's one of my favorite sweaters cute all right guys i just came back to my room for a little bit um, I requested I requested a late checkout, so I don't have to check out till 12.30, which worked out perfectly. I'm not checking out till 12.30, which is awesome. Um, had some sessions. As you can see, I do sound very sick, <clears throat> so I don't know what's going on with that. But um, I have a session at 11, and um, then I have lunch, so after my session at 11 i'll just come back to my room check out and then go to lunch so I'm excited about that yeah i kind of just want to take a, sh a nap but i can't it sucks that that pimple left a little spot on my face but yeah all right guys i'm checking out of my room and then i'm gonna head back down to lunch just had lunch it was really good <clears throat> bye gaylord i will see you guys at another time had a really good stay. All right guys, so I'm at the airport. I just basically, well, I've been here for a minute. I am at my gate and um, it's gonna be a minute because my flight got delayed. So I have like till seven, we leave at like 7.20. So I think boarding starts at seven, but it's like only almost six and I'm really sick now. This always happens, but. I'm at my date, so that's great. And I changed out of my jeans. I put on my comfy pants and my sneakers, so I feel great. And I also had some food, but it was terrible. And it was like $30. And then I got some medicine, and that was like $30. So, 60 bucks since I've been in here. But, um, yeah, this is my view. 
and that is my gate. Just waiting for the plane to get there. And literally downtown Nashville is right there. And I never got to see it. I'll have to come back and check it out. Oh, there's a plane going off. You guys see that? Super cool. That's what's happening right now. I think I'm gonna maybe watch some TikToks. And... some of these because I know that my ears are gonna hurt on the plane so I'm being proactive and I got these my ears have been just hurting so bad when I land now and I'm not a fan of that so got some of these this is probably also why my bill is so high hopefully these work that ear pain is no joke I made it home last night. You guys saw the little montage of me coming home. Um, smooth flight, but I have been having really bad pain in my left ear when we are landing. And I'm used to having some ear pain like here and there, but never like this. Like it, it's so bad. And it's happened on my like last few flights. Um, I know me being sick did not help because like when you have like extra like mucus and stuff, it's not good for like, your ears on a flight because already like the ear pressure is changing and all that but the pain that I was feeling in my freaking ear it is so bad like I need to go get it checked out and I have another flight next week and I'm so scared because I got the little earplugs but like this ear is fine like this is like my golden ear does not hurt at all like doesn't give me any pain it may like pop but it, it honestly gives me no pain like I wish this ear was like this ear because this one it is like the pain like radiates and I feel it like inside my body like it hurts so bad if you have ear pain like you understand like when you're flying it is the worst thing ever like I don't wish it on anybody it sucks so I don't know I got to figure that out I need to go like see a specialist or something because I don't want to like be turned off of flying because like my ear pain hurts so bad so that's very unfortunate but I made it home last night really late I got home by like 11 ish my flight was delayed so um but the flight was only like an hour and 30 in total so it was really quick flight coming back into dc it was um really foggy so we had a really bumpy like descend into landing so that was a little scary but and like around us you couldn't see anything but fog so that was scary too but i made it through my first flight post post pandemic and i'm so thankful for that and blessed thank you god for getting me home safely um but now i'm home i dropped a uh, crew off at daycare sorry i didn't catch him on the camera but he is teething right now really bad he's getting his um back molars so this morning he actually woke up in a really good mood though so i was happy about that he he ate all of his breakfast he got through that ear infection thing he has a little bit of a runny nose but he's okay and um, his back molars are like, they're coming through, like they're erupting. So it looks so painful, but hopefully like by next week they would have like popped up. So they're at the like the cusp of coming out. So um, yeah, but I stopped at Wawa. I got a coffee. I couldn't wait to come back to Wawa. Oh my gosh. And I got a little treat for myself and I got some donuts. I'm not gonna eat all of these, but uh, Texas donuts is so so good. These are the best the cinnamon sugar ones and then I tried uh, The strawberry one is really good, too, but these are all new for me I got this devil's food cake an eclair and then this coconut vanilla one, but they're so good. They're so soft They're my favorite donuts outside of this one other place, but 
yeah i'm gonna try to clean up the house and maybe take a nap because i'm so tired crew woke up at 1 a.m last night so i did not get any sleep really again so that's what i'm gonna try to use today for because all my team is still at that conference i just left a two days early so they'll all be occupied <laughs> so yeah just want to give an update and thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i think i'm gonna end it here and start a new one uh for the weekend but thanks so much for watching this vlog i had so much fun even though i didn't get to see nashville i had fun like checking out the gaylord that was really nice and yeah